Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Before this, no one thought that Huawei, a Chinese private enterprise, could survive the suppression of the United States, the technological overlord. Not only did it survive, but it also broke through the United States technological barriers. It can be said that Huawei Mate 60 has given the world a little China shock, not only due to various powerful black technologies of Huawei Mate 60, but also the Kirin chip equipped with Mate 60. The United States is confused by the Kirin chip. Where did this chip come from, what technology was used, who produced it, when it was produced, and how it was produced on a scale of tens of millions. But the United States still has no idea. No. Recently, Taiwanese media revealed an unexpected news, ASML, is behind Huawei's core. What exactly is this matter about? Where does Taiwanese media news come from? Is it reliable? What role does ASML play in this? Huawei's rapid development in the field of chip design has aroused concerns in the United States, and the United States' concerns are not without reason. After all, China generally breaks down the technical barriers of the United States and the West in certain fields, and then drives down the price of products in that field. From shield machines and high-speed rail to hand-shredded steel and precision machine tools, basically in which areas China has achieved technological breakthroughs, prices will begin to fall. Due to the suppression by the United States, Huawei's Ace Kirin chip once became its swan song. This undoubtedly meant that Huawei lost a very critical core competitiveness. This made Huawei very uncomfortable. In order to survive, Huawei even used its mobile phones. The sub-brand Honor is sold. After launching multiple rounds of sanctions against Huawei, the United States believes that this matter is stable. After all, the United States has joined forces with its allies to pursue Huawei's Korean chips and Chinese chips, and cut off supply from all aspects. No matter how fast the development of Chinese chips is, it will not maybe it will enter advanced manufacturing processes in a short time. But the fact is that Huawei has achieved a breakthrough in the chip field. The Kirin 9000's chip tells the United States, with reality, that Kirin chips have made a strong comeback, and China chip has completed a breakthrough in advanced manufacturing processes. Of course, the strong comeback of Kirin chips is also helped by other Chinese chip manufacturers. After all, the chips are not manufactured by Huawei alone. Regarding Kirin chips, the United States launched a comprehensive investigation, trying to find the manufacturer of Kirin chips for Huawei. However, what the United States never expected was that the month-long investigation yielded no results. Even the spokesperson of the White House could only say helplessly, Huawei chips use a technology that the United States does not understand. In fact, the United States is not the only one investigating Kirin chips. The Japanese Research Institute has also conducted investigations and research on Kirin chips. The Japanese Research Institute believes that Huawei's chip is not a 7 nanometers process chip, as the outside world thinks, but a 14 nanometers chip. However, the transistors are more densely distributed, 
so the performance is better. Regarding the information released by the Japanese Research Institute, the Taiwanese media obviously have a different view. The Taiwanese media believes that the Kirin 9000's chip is a 7 nanometers process. Is ASML fueling the fire behind the scenes? Huawei and Kirin chip OEMs have not made public statements, and the US investigation into Kirin chips has not yielded any meaningful results. Therefore, there is currently no conclusion from the outside world on how the Kirin 9000's chip is produced. Although there are a lot of speculations and news, no one knows what is going on before Huawei makes it public. However, what people did not expect is that Taiwanese media recently broke the news. Taiwanese media stated that the Kirin 9000's chip is a 7 nanometers chip produced by SMIC, and the lithography machine is shipped by ASML. This news quickly attracted the attention of the international community. Although some industry insiders had previously speculated that Kirin 9000s might be manufactured by SMIC, no one could confirm it. Although the Taiwanese media did not provide any concrete evidence this time, their conclusive statements made many people believe this statement. ASML is a global semiconductor giant and the only company in the world that can produce and ship EUV lithography machines. It can be said that ASML has a very significant influence in the field of lithography machines. However, since the extreme ultraviolet technology used in EUV lithography machines was developed by the American company Intel, ASML also needs to be influenced by the United States. Under the restrictions of the Wassenaar Agreement, ASML cannot ship EUV lithography machines to Chinese manufacturers. Taiwanese media believe that the lithography machines used by SMIC to produce Kirin chips are from equipment shipped by ASML, and also stated that the lithography equipment obtained by SMIC has exceeded that of TSMC, reaching about 120 units. In this regard, ASML said, it has obtained the shipping license and all shipments are within the scope of the rules. Although ASML did not directly admit that it had shipped deep ultraviolet lithography equipment to SMIC, judging from this statement, ASML seemed to have acquiesced in this matter. Judging from the current situation, the Taiwanese media's revelations are not supported by tangible evidence. It is most likely a speculation that the lithography equipment will be shipped to SMIC through ASML. We still need to wait for final news from Huawei on how the Kirin 9000's chip is produced and who its foundry is.